This is Future Weapons from Israel, a small country that's big on weapons. A heavily armored tank is nice, but wouldn't you want to be able to stop a threat before it ever hit you? Would it be better if you could do this without ever having to worry about it? By the way, the answer to both of these questions is yes. And the geniuses at Israel Military Industries have figured out how to do it. At this top secret location on the shores of the Mediterranean, I've come to check out a brand new advanced protection system for military vehicles. This system is so cutting edge that it's only just completed testing. And we get to see it in action before it enters service. This is Iron Fist, and it knocks RPGs out of existence. The Iron Fist is Israel's latest active defense system designed not just for tanks, but also for lightweight, more versatile vehicles, including Humvees and trucks. Its job is to detect incoming threats and put them out of commission for good. It may not look any more menacing than, say, an automatic tennis ball launcher, but I think that's kind of what's cool about it. After three decades of development, the system has arrived to protect military vehicles and other sensitive assets. You can only add so much weight to a vehicle to protect it. What's needed is out-of-the-box thinking. I believe that now in order to withstand the entire threat spectrum uh, against mainly against tanks, the tank should weigh around 200 tons, metric tons. It's impossible. You know, there is no bridge, there is no uh, road that this kind of vehicle will be able to uh, perform. The vehicle actually has to be smaller, much more versatile, and be able to perform your task. The Iron Fist identifies the type of projectile by its path and shape, then calculates exactly what it needs to do to crush it. It handles the threat in two ways. Plan A is the soft kill approach, using jamming devices to divert anti-tank guided missiles. The jam missiles either fall short or veer away. If it gets past the jamming system, the Iron Fist moves into Plan B in a split second. We found out that we have a lot of different missiles and it was nearly impossible to introduce so many jammers and uh, mechanism. And then we made a shift and decided to combine the soft kill and the hard kill, meaning how to distract the incoming threat regardless of who he is and what type of, of uh, threat it is. This hard kill approach is achieved by launching an explosive projectile which seeks out and intercepts the threat. If it's a RPG or a tank round, the system immediately will move toward this hard kill uh, capability. We'll launch an interceptor and we'll intercept the incoming threat. But it's not a head-on strike. The projectile explodes and releases a shockwave that engulfs the threat and destroys it. It does this without detonating the warhead, simply knocking it right out of the sky which minimizes collateral damage. The idea of the system is, of course, to knock out the, uh, the uh, incoming threat, but we're using it without actually a, a meeting or without any physical engagement uh, with the threat. There is a volume of lethality to our interceptor, and the, system, the interceptor know exactly, and we're talking about milliseconds, eh, knows exactly where to initiate its uh, warhead. Iron Fist is a fully automatic system. Once the troops enter a combat area, they turn it on, and it stays on. The radar constantly scans a full 360 degrees, ready to take on any hostile threat. Yeah, most likely, they, 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 the crew probably will look uh, in the front of the vehicle and uh, won't pay attention to a hidden kind of uh, RPG guy. 
and the system automatically will detect it and will destroy the incoming threat. The concept of Iron Fist is all about providing an invisible shield around the vehicle. It's actively looking out for multiple incoming threats, some traveling as fast as a mile per second. There's not many things on Earth that can react that fast. Iron Fist has unique sensors that can contribute to our routine mission. And on the other hand, it's a very light system and it will save your life at the end of the day. IMI has successfully tested the Iron Fist against a variety of threats. This thing may not float like a butterfly or sting like a bee, but it does pulverize rockets. This is the RPG-7. It's old, cheap, but very deadly. It's the most prolific rocket-propelled grenade on the face of the planet. It's shoulder launched and capable of penetrating a foot of armor plate, making it one of the biggest threats on the battlefield. So will Iron Fist be able to drop it to the canvas? I know, it sounds almost too good to be true. Now it's time to see it in action. Once Iron Fist is activated, the radar should detect any incoming attack. An RPG is fast and it can be fired from close range. So for Iron Fist to work, it needs lightning quick reflexes. Iron Fist launches its projectile to intercept the incoming grenade. The best defense is a great offense. The APC is untouched. In a fraction of a second, we can counterattack due to the unique capabilities of this particular system. Iron Fist can deal with all types of shoulder launch rifle grenades, anti-tank guided missiles, high explosive tank rounds, and the most challenging of all, a kinetic energy penetrator. It provides an invisible and impenetrable shield around any vehicle. Still to come on this Israel special, once this spider weaves its web, you officially have a no-fly zone.